Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, my name is Plenipotentiary Judge David Hyphen Winfolk Colin Miller. I punctuate my name because it makes me a fact and not an adjective pronoun fiction. I'm here with you tonight to introduce to you uh, an aide of mine who is going to be handling the Australian seminars when I'm not here and assisting. He's, he is very knowledgeable and has spent hundreds of hours in study and over the years to uh, produce a program equal to and in complementary to what we are doing to bring this planet out of its adverb world for 8,500 years into a correct sentence structure communication syntax uh, organization. Now, all 250 countries worldwide have been under this adverb verb guise by the, United, by the Universal Postal Union, Bern, Switzerland, established in 1873, better known as the New World Order. But the, as times are changing, education is expanding, this technology has been perfected, and the people of the world are tired of being raped through taxation, raped through mis in, uh, misinformation, uh, the subjective interpretation where privileged few are allowed to go free from committing crimes and others are slapped with serious fines, uh, prison terms, for absolutely nothing. So Stephen is going to be a, a lead out here doing seminars and speaking engagements, uh, radio, TV shows, for when I'm not here. I will be doing as many as I can on Skype and go to meeting, as well as coming back to Australia on a regular timetable, doing seminars and putting together hard questions, answering the hard questions. With 73,000 hours of experience and 30 years in research and law, uh, I have put on 940 seminars to date and fielded tens of thousands of questions. And I give complete answers so that the individual goes away satisfied. We will talk out a problem as long as it takes to get the satisfaction level. I go into court on a regular basis if there's a court hearing to show that this technology is applicable in a courtroom, that the judges will run out of the courtroom in, in some instances because they realize what they've done is wrong and they don't want to be implemented in the criminal offense. Others have resigned their judgeships. Lawyers have given up to quit the bar. Uh, we have documentation for these, uh, for this conduct to take place. We have thousands of successful wins around the world. When you go looking for case law on the correct sentence structure communication syntax, you will not find anything. You have to be there. And you also have to be competent enough to understand what the correct sentence structure communication syntax means in order for you to have the knowledge to win your lawsuit. The publication of the correct sentence structure lawsuit and how it will take down a win a court case and disqualify a judge and attorney cannot be left laying around. Serious criminals who are drug dealers, murderers, bank robbers, rapists, could very easily pick up this technology and use it to continue the reign of terror. Where at the same time, the judges are responsible to do the right thing in every single case. Yet the U.S. Attorney's Office comes back with this simple question. Oh, we're supposed to allow criminals, hardened criminals, to go free because we don't have the correct sentence structure. The response back is, why didn't you have the correct sentence structure to arrest these individuals? The correct sentence structure, laws, rules, regulations, codes, oath of office, operations, so I don't have to do my job. My job is to correct the, cor correct the language that I know and can certify is wrong. So the syntax now is on the table. The people of the world are becoming more and more aware. We have a thing called the internet. The internet allows every nation to communicate with every other nation. 
without any interference of any government or political organization to get the message to the people because the people want in the truth technology they want correctness they never went to war over a math problem we're not going to give them a chance to go over the war over a contract we will write the contracts the treaties the trust the constitution so that the people of the world all know where they stand and if they know where they stand in a mathematical procedure of communications written frontwards and backwards so it's certified that no matter how they look at it there is no subjective interpretation as to what it means or how it is said we certify the one in nine hundred definitions of all words and so with this level of accuracy we are going to change this world we are going to bring it together under one world order of, of correctness just like mathematics and we are going to continue writing constitutions and contracts, publishing them on the internet so that the world can see all at the same time what the rules and regulations are of the conduct, of how organizations must operate, how governments must operate, and the, the freedom of the speech, freedom of the press, freedom of the travel, freedom of the grievance, the freedom of the voting, we're going to use prepositional phrases to certify that these things exist and we're going to do it in the correct manner. Now, I'd like to introduce to you a, a man who has been, I've been working with named Steve and he is, he is going to say a few words to you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Well, hopefully during the time that we get together, I can introduce you to the technology of David Windmiller, the correct sentence structure communication syntax. Part of the thing that needs to be done is breaking the paradigm of your existence and having an ability to understand how one person can go into court and have a win and another person can go into court in exactly the same situation and not have a win. Basically, they'd be subject to the opinion of the, of the judge uh, in the courtroom. Now, a lot of people look for a lot of different solutions. The one thing most people don't look at is the language. Even those that look at the language will go so far as to look at a law dictionary and find that a person isn't what they thought it was and find a lot of other words where must is synonymous with may. But that's only the surface because when you get right down to it, the very structure of those words that are used come from the Greek and the Latin and Arabic languages and most words that you use to create a positive position actually create a negative position. So by the time I'm finished with you and with the questions that you'll be bringing to me, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of how the illusion has been woven around you to create the paradigm of your existence as you know it. What I, I hope to do is to help you to break through that paradigm so that when you meet with David Windmiller that you'll have a ground or a place inside your head that's prepared to receive the information that's coming through. Now everything that I put to you and everything that David will put to you, I challenge you to research or as we would say to search, to search for the correct information. You will find that this is based on fact, it's not some, thing, some wild eyed idea that somebody's come up with overnight. This is based on years and years of research and an immense amount of knowledge. Now, in no way can I measure up to the amount of knowledge and study that David Wynne Miller has. But through the course of my study, I've been able to find that this is the correct sentence structure communication syntax, and that in our courts, although they advertise they have the correct sentence structure communication syntax, they are very far from it. So from our meeting and from going further with David, you should be able to break free of the illusion, and then it's up to you because it's your life and the power is really in the people but you've been educated so as you're not aware of that but through education and through being open to information that is available and by joining with your fellow man in, in a sense of community you have the ability to move forward and take away the control from the courts from the judges and replace that with that which is correct in your way you may be thinking the truth but I suggest to you that the truth is an opinion and everybody's truth rings a different tone. When it is correct, it's not open to opinion, it is a fact. So I look forward to meeting with you. 
speaking with you and preparing you for an introduction uh, to David Wynne Miller, who I've heard uh, coined the phrase coined that he's the most intelligent man in the world. Uh, when we put that down, it's with the ability to reason. Uh, I, have I have yet to ask him a question that he cannot answer. So I thank you very much.